This video will show you how to create a multiple choice question. So here you first provide a name for the question. And then you type in the actual text of your question. So I'll type something like this. So here's the text of my question. The derivative of 8x squared is. Now, in order to provide the correct answer and the distractors, you have to insert a response area. And here I'll choose on the left hand side the question type to be multiple choice. Now, a few things to do over here. Obviously, you can adjust the weighting of this. I'll leave it as one as the default. I will leave this as a single choice. Um, if you make this a multiple selection question, that means that they will have the option to select one or more answers to this multiple choice question. The traditional multiple choice question is you select one and then the rest are distractors, but you could do where there are many correct and the others are distractors. The option to shuffle choices, I'll select yes so that the order is always random for each student. They each get their own custom order. And then you choose how you want the choices displayed. So do you want them to be vertical or horizontal on the page? I'll leave it as vertical. And then you have to put in the choices. So you have to put in here, in each space, the correct answer and then the distractors. You can delete one to have you know, only two. You can add more to have three or four. You have your choice as to what you want it to be. So I will first put in the correct answer, which in this case is obviously 16x. And then I'll put my distractors. So here are my distractors now. I did 8x, 2x exponent 8, and 2 times x. So obviously the correct answer is 16x. And what you do is when you click on OK now at the bottom, the next page allows you to choose the correct answer. So I have to choose the correct value here. I will choose, obviously, 16x. I can choose to have one of these options be fixed, which means that when it randomizes the order, one will always be in the same place. It won't actually be in the jumble, but I want it to be randomized. Or you can use an algorithmic value as the correct answer, which I won't in this case. Now, the great thing about the multiple choice question is it allows for response specific feedback. What I mean is, if they choose response one and it corresponds here with the number one, you could put feedback that says, correct, great work. Or you could say something along here is, you made an error if they chose number two. Or if they chose three, you could say, you just switched the coefficient and the exponent. Basically what happens is, depending on which option they choose, they will see the specific feedback for their option. Once they're done, click OK. And now you've made your multiple choice question. I'll save it. And you'll see here I can try it out to make sure it does work. And that's how you create a multiple choice question.